gonna try all, all choices. Maybe it's gonna be another. you left Japan over a year ago now, but it has been a complete show. If it had not been for private family matters, I would have dipped a long time ago. Yep. Yep. I think I got ahead of good time. And uh, I weighed up all the, the pros and cons of it at the time, and uh, I think I made a good choice. And to think that, um, if I was forced to stay in Japan, I would have been forced basically into a low paying English teaching job. And I wouldn't have um, stayed in the place that I was staying. I probably would have incurred a lot of debt. It just would have been an all around pretty shit situation. similar issue typing on the mobile that auto complete Give uh, HR another buzz. Forget it. Hmm. Give uh, Ferguson a call back, I guess. That's the only other thing that I can think of. I'm pretty sure that info will blow your mind, but not surprise you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interact that was offering you that lowball uh, job just lost half its Tokyo contracts and told its workforce to go work borderline. Shit. Who pays 20,000 yen less per month than what she thought was impossible? Oh no no, um, it's it's a dive to the bottom. I'm sorry, race to the bottom. Feels like a 
a free falling dive to the bottom with the uh, Japanese air kaiwa industry at the moment. Um, let's face it, Corona has just killed that industry. People don't want um, one to one um, anything. They don't want to be anywhere fucking near you. So they should have very heavily invested in online uh, teaching. All companies should have. Berlitz, like an Interact, um, Nova, um, Aeon, all, all the big air cover schools should have invested heavily into it. But then again, when you go down that road, it's like, well, if we're just doing the lessons online, why do we need to hire teachers in Japan? You don't. Borderly, yeah. It's, it's all... It's all a race to the bottom. Um, and it's very unlikely that I would have um, been able to sustain the meagre wage that I got at Berlitz. So I think I want to give myself a um, pat on the back here for foreseeing all of this uh, about two years ago and making the correct decision. I'm gonna get this full a call. Your password don't work. system. I'm going to take a long walk along, along the beach. Mm. What they figured out in Corona is that online works and Japanese don't need to speak to a native for training. They can speak to Philippine people to train in using the international trade language. Well, um... They always knew that. Don't get me wrong, they always knew that. Um, it's just, um... Maybe they, they they were too used to the existing systems. Um, contracts, long-running contracts that um, air car businesses had with uh, corporations and with individuals. And so, I mean, you know Japan. They don't like to rock the boat. It's a very conservative country. Change happens very slowly. I mean, just look at their political system. So, hearing that doesn't surprise me. Not really. But, I think that this is also a temporary solution, because they, um, they do value, um, they, they don't want to be getting a mediocre product, they want to be getting the best product for their money. It's all an intermediary step away because AI takes all these jobs in a decade. It's, uh, I still think for languages, it's um, you're gonna have to have a, a person there, but the way that they teach language is so fucked. It's just fucked. I very much hated um, being confined by Berlitz's teaching method. Very much. The way that they teach English in Japan is fucked. At all levels. But, um, in saying that, it's, it's important, I think, for Japan to still have, like, a, a bilingual society, Japanese and English. English is, um, pretty much going to be the language of the world for the foreseeable future. People keep banging on about how, you know, well, they're closer to China. Um, but, uh, I don't know how many uh, Japanese people want to learn Chinese. So far as I know, Japan and China, they don't really like each other. On a very deep level, Japan has embraced uh, the West ever since the war um, ended. They liked our democracy. They didn't like communism, and they didn't like, uh... Yeah, there's, there's some racial things going on with the Japan-China relationship. 
but I mean, you know. You can say that about any country in the world, I think. In any case, we're getting closer to this. Japanese English teaching has a lot of parallels to American healthcare. Yeah, the system's fucked. Yeah. language seems unlikely given the political system in the mainland and I absolutely agree. People are like, you know, raising an eyebrow with the Ukraine stuff, not just because it's, you know, Russia. They're, they're taking a very hard look at like, um, communist dictatorships and people do not like. Now they've, they've suddenly discovered, oh wait, oh, look at all these, um, financial instruments that we can use to pretty much, uh, ruin a country. We don't need war anymore. Like, we can wage economic war. And, and if you think that China is not looking at all this with um, interest, you're very mistaken. Back to escapism, how do you feel about the plot? Um, I feel like it has some replayability value, but that's only because of like the instinct to like try to 100% everything. I think it's um, rudimentary, this plot. I think what was the, there was a game that I played up before that I thought had a um, virtual verse. I like that game. I like that game a lot. And so this this game is trying to diverge a bit from your classic, I guess, point and click paradigm. And while I can respect it, I still think that you can fit in a perfectly good story in a normal traditional point and click. Like with Virtual Verse. I would never play it Virtual Verse again, but that was a great experience. I'm not saying this is a bad game. I'm just, you know, there is no communism, only totalitarian states. Same thing. Alright, here we go. Here we go, Karen. It looks like a, um, what's, what's, like a young Steve Wozniak with a mullet? Hmm. So I, I, I recommend this, you recommended this when you were playing Virtual Verse. Well, to be fair, like, you've, you've recommended this particular game numerous times to me. I think you even offered to, um, let me get access to your library in order to play it. So, it's been on my radar. Francis Coconette, the coconut man. Did I miss another one? Hello, Elm. 